Hello, I'm Representative Kevin McDougall. Just wanted to let you know a little bit about what happened this week. Two bills that I want to highlight that passed through the House almost unanimously. Senate Bill 653, which is by New House in the Senate and myself in the House, uh, will simply allow a veteran who gets disability pay from the military uh, for any purpose, whether it's PTSD, a missing limb, uh, that disability pay is meant for that veteran for the care of that disability and cannot be used in the dissolution calculations on a divorce. Uh, if that individual has children, the additional funds for dependents can be calculated for child support and that type of thing. So uh, that, that bill will help take care of our veterans. The other bill was Senate Bill 35, basically allows you to use your military ID in lieu of a concealed carry permit for the state of Oklahoma. So if you're active duty or reserves, including reserve police officers, they can use their ID uh, in place of a concealed carry permit without having to go take the classes, that type of thing. I want to explain this to you. When we're voting in the House right now, right now there are certain votes that only take 51 members to pass. Anything to do with a tax increase because of Senate Bill 640 that was passed years ago, anything to do with a tax increase requires 76 votes. Now, we've been going through making as many changes as we can uh, to roll back unappropriated funds, uh, to get rid of tax credits. Uh, all of those types of things only require 51 votes. So we've been doing as many of those as we can. All the tax increase measures will come in sometime next week and may be in, in some type of a JCAB bill or may just be a standalone bill themselves. Very somber week this week. Uh, for a couple of reasons. 22 years ago, the Murrah building exploded. It was the building that I was recruited out of for MEPS, uh, for the enlisted processing. A good friend of mine, Randy Norfleet, was in that building and survived. But it's still somber to think about the 168 that didn't make it. And actually, I believe it was 171 because three of those women were actually pregnant. Uh, the other somber thing was the passing of our good friend, David Brumball. And, uh, uh, passed away last Thursday as soon as he got home, and uh, his wife Shelly and their daughters, uh, my condolences to them. Uh, we love David. He was such a calm voice amidst the storm, and uh, David will be missed. So God bless you guys. Have a great week, and thank you so much for tuning in.